What's up guys, we're back out in the shop today. Um, I started building a go-kart about a month ago. I bought it, used, and had good potential. So luckily I live in Texas and Go Power Sports is not far from where I live. So I've been getting a lot of parts from them. I've done a lot to it so far and I figured I would start making videos, show my journey. Um, today I'm going to work a little bit more on the steering. Um, I got the rack and the tie rods and the steering kit off Amazon. That's about the only thing I've got besides the muffler off Amazon so far that I haven't got from Go Power Sports. I tacked on the rack last night and I'm going to do a little bit more adjusting. The uh, best way I found to mount the rack is with a one inch lock collar that a lot of people use on the axles. It also fits around the rack. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to shorten the tie rods and see if I can get the steering pretty much done today. I'm not far from finishing the go-kart. We're going to be building my son. He's eight, uh, his own little go-kart as soon as I finish this one, but I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've got so far. So I've got the Springer front end. I've had to stretch the front just a little bit, about four inches to get the length I needed and to make everything fit. You can see I've got the lock collar tack welded in on both sides. It comes down goes into the spindles and it comes up. I'm going to end up having to extend this little arm right here to make this, the shaft long enough for the steering wheel to reach where I'm sitting. But if you can tell, if you look, they're all the way in and the tires still tow in some. So I'm going to take those off, see if I can cut them down maybe an inch on each side half an inch something like that and get it to where I can set the toe where it's not out as much so we're gonna get started with that What I did was I put a thread chaser down in there, cut a groove. That way, when I take this out, it should take the piece that I cut and then chase the threads out so they're not all boogered up. And you can see that just came loose. You'll probably scuff up your thread chaser just a little bit, but it'll be all right. And you can see it's got a little sharp edges. You can hit it with a flap wheel. But now it's half inch shorter. This will be the one that's fun to get off.
There's the other piece. So now, this is a half inch shorter. I'll hit that, the grinding wheel real quick. Run my chaser back through it and should be good. Now we're just going to repeat on this side. usually pick a knob, knob to knob. Forty two and three quarters. You 
to mark one of the flats so you know how many revolutions you do. Right at forty one and three quarters. So now we'll tighten up the jam nut. Perfect. All right. So y'all can see. Let's push this little guy back. I went ahead, shortened it on this side because this one doesn't have reverse threads and tightened it all up measured i'll pick a knob usually it's right around the center about right here in the center tape measure do the front pick the same knob on this side tape measure whatever your measurement is you'll go to the back same knobs measure until you have the same measurement from each side on the knobs and that will get your toe set and you can see it's a lot straighter now and when you turn they go to the stops It'd be easier if I had a steering wheel but I don't goes to the stops well I have a steering wheel I just don't have the bolts and that's how your rack and pinion is gonna work on that so I guess the next steps gonna be maybe see if we can cut the shaft and make it long enough to uh, get the steering wheel well I want it while I'm sitting in it because this is my go-kart 